Hello, hello, it's Old Twit Talks Cars again. I'm back in the 2019 BMW 330i Sport model. So this is the latest iteration of the 3 Series. It's the Sport, which sits between the entry-level model and the M Sport. Uh, so it's the middle one. Uh, and I just wanted to talk very briefly uh, about the driving modes because I've had a chance over the last year or so to have a proper play with those and at some point when I get the right camera equipment sorted out and not my uh, phone which I'm sure you're all enjoying I will show you what they do on the road but for now I want to talk to you about Eco Pro uh, it's horrendous never ever use it get a big bit of tape and stick it across the button because why would you ever use it? It introduces this weird gizmo here, which I don't understand. It's got a battery at one end. Uh, it's got your fuel consumption at the other end. It's showing you what I've been averaging in this car um, recently, which is pottering about really, no longer runs in there recently. So 30.4 um, MPG, uh, it's okay, isn't it? It's not brilliant, but uh, yeah, so I don't understand that, and it really makes the car feel as though somebody's um, secretly tied a shipping container to the back of the car and filled it with potatoes. Uh, the performance is, is really dire. I mean, it's really bad. Uh, and does it improve the economy? It doesn't seem to. It might give you another, in my experience, one MPG over a run, but save yourself that for God's sake um, you know save yourself the pain and never ever use it would be my advice comfort however is good it's what um, BMW as you can see called a balance setting and it's great for everyday use it gives you a good um, uh, compromise I guess between uh, performance uh, economy I use that word loosely because again that's what I've been using to get my 30 miles per gallon. You got rid of that weird thing that I don't understand. Um, so that's all good. That's what this car spends most of its life in, I'm afraid to say. Then Sport, you've got Standard Plus and Individual. Quite a big difference actually between those. Um, I would say that Standard Sport is more practical and more bearable it's not quite so aggressive it makes it noisier in here but it's a nice noise which again uh, you'll get to see at some point um, you get a little sport uh, in the um, in the dash there just to let you know what you're doing I think I'm not really sure let me remind myself if I press sport oh it is sport plus uh, I thought the dials went red but anyway Maybe that's only at night. Um, but yeah, Sport Plus is a bit more animalistic. Uh, it really makes this car quite jerky um, and loud and a, a little bit obnoxious. It's quite good fun for very short periods of time, but uh, it does have a negative effect on the fuel economy. So that number you see there will drop away probably below that if you drive around in Sport Plus all the time. So uh, my advice to you would be, um, and I would note, please don't ever take my advice, it would be a mistake, but my advice would be, if you were to take it, is comfort most of the time, uh, rip out Eco Pro with a pair of pliers, and play around with Sport and Sport Plus when you fancy a laugh. Anyway, more on this at another time. Um, this has been Old Twit Talks Cars. Please check out my blog if you're horrendously and utterly at your wit's end and bored.